And here we have a very large male. There's two ways of doing the large male. When they're more mature like this, they really have tightened tissues around their cord and they're sometimes difficult to uh, separate and bring out as this one is and be able to do a closed castration. I will do a closed castration on this one, pressing a little, create an overhand knot and then taking a hold of it and pulling it and cinching it down. And then there's the, the other technique is to actually use a open castration where you let the testicle come out of its tunic thusly. Cut the tunic away. Now you're going to separate the testicle and the vessels from the vas deferens and do a series of overhand knots which will then create the uh, the ligature, the self ligature and then cut away. So either one if you like one technique, you use it. If you like the other one, or you go with it, with the open castration. This is a medium-aged kitty, not a not a prepubescent one, and not over a year certainly. And these are the ones I just typically do an instrument tie, create a overhand knot in in the cord and then cinch it down. I always clean the cord nicely so that I don't have extraneous material in there when it comes off the end of the instrument. The ways of getting that off, you need to loosen it. You can't hold it back here tight and pushing it over the edge. You need to loosen it up and then do the cinch. There you are, and he's done. And so on, uh, on male cats, you don't have to put in a, a suture. They'll uh, just collapse and f uh, fold in and, uh, on themselves, and the kitties don't bother them.